Hey, hey guys, I am back. And as you can probably tell from the title, I've got sushi again. Thank you so much, Rice and Froni. I've seen his video this morning when I woke up and I was like, I want sushi. I want sushi. So I went and got some sushi after I took Aria to the doctor. She has got the nice pink eye going on just like her brother. Now I'm hoping Munch won't get it. Um, before I start the video, if you like what you watch, if you like watching me and my family, um, enjoying our lives, crazy lives, and enjoying the food along the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of my family. We would love to have you. Um, I'll show you all the sushi stuff that I got here, but first, just in case anybody asks, on my face, I've got one of the NYX, uh, of course, it's not going to focus because it never does. There we go. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Monte Carlo. Bright red. This one's a little bit more dry than the other one that I have. Alright, so today I'm drinking a Red Bull because I've got all three kids home. Nobody was able to go to school today because of the pink eye. Let's crack this open. Don't spit on me, please. All right, let's see if we can get some Red Bull burps today here. All right, so to start, I've got some of the seaweed salad because I really like their seaweed. All of this came from Weiss, so I will let you know what I got. So this first one I got is a Super California Roll. This one is ridiculous. This one is all cooked. Uh, nothing raw in here. This one was $7 for this one. One of my favorite cooked <coughs> rolls that I get. Philadelphia Roll. Right here, this one was also 7 Fully cooked. It's got crab meat in it and the cream cheese I love it all right and then this one here is a dynamite roll this one was ten dollars this one is raw so we got some of the little sushi rolls with avocado cucumber crab meat and then the rest of the rice and sesame seeds and stuff like that there's a couple pieces of yellowfin tuna nigiri and then a couple pieces of salmon nigiri. I love salmon and yellowfin tuna are some of my favorites. And then I also mixed up in the lid some soy sauce with wasabi. I am hearing the kid outside of the room already and I know it's Aria. She is loud all the way around. And in today's episode, I'm like, what? No. No, I'm doing a mukbang by myself. I'll be out whenever I'm done, okay? We will go to the playground whenever I'm ready. Okay. Okay, Arya. Just go on back downstairs, okay? I will be teaching you guys how I eat with chopsticks. Because Rice and Froney, I love him to death. And he is such a sweet guy. He cannot really eat with chopsticks. And he was saying how he apologized if he offended anybody. And how... He was using the chopsticks, but I don't think anybody's going to be offended. All right, so I got a little washcloth here because this dripped out everywhere. When the guy was putting it in the bag, I was like, no! I don't know what it is with this seafood or seaweed salad, but I love it. And I can eat like individual grains of rice with chopsticks. These chopsticks suck, like the little wooden ones. 
I need to find like some really decent reusable chopsticks, like not wooden ones, like metal ones or something, but I can't find any anywhere. Everywhere I look, I haven't seen any. One day, I will get some of my own chopsticks. Ah. So, the way I hold them, one in my index and thumb, and then the other one I have pressed up onto my middle finger. The one on my middle finger does not move. Okay? So, I don't pinch up. I just use the top one. And I just move my index finger up and down to pinch. The one there in the middle finger does not move at all. And then I just get whatever I'm going for. Pinch down. And then pick it up. It takes practice. It will take some time. But I commend him for trying to eat with chopsticks while recording. See, that's a long piece of seaweed. It looks like a worm. Let's try it. <laughs> no, it's just seaweed. <laughs> and then there's all these like the little clear jelly pieces see through them those are a little bit more springy I love their seafood or seaweed salad I don't know why I keep calling it seafood salad all right The kids really wanted to do this mukbang with me and I was like, I can't because there's not enough stuff that they would eat and their eyes are all gross and I just, I make their plates and I set them aside and let them just, I don't want them touching everything because Munch doesn't have it yet. I thought she was going to wake up this morning and have it, but she hasn't gotten it yet. Let's hope I can keep her away from it. It's so hard, though. If you have kids, you know how quick illnesses spread. Alright, so I'm going to pick up some of this salmon nigiri. And I know that there's all kinds of different videos out there showing you, like, how to dip your sushi and your nigiri and this and that and I think they're all like BS. I just eat it how you want to eat it. Especially if you're not like in their country like where they've made it. There's no point in trying to impress anybody. So I just usually dip the whole bottom portion of it. And this is soy sauce mixed with the wasabi. And you're supposed to put the whole piece in your mouth. Mmm. The little fake grass pieces. They put them in there to separate like the wasabi and the ginger and stuff so you don't get them touching it if you don't like it and this is just ginger pickled ginger which i can actually eat it plain a lot of the time so i'm gonna put this on a piece of the tuna they make their rice balls like pretty big see but if you go to like I um 
like a sushi bar that's like an actual like sit down restaurant like a sushi house or something theirs are so much better than what you buy at the store you're gonna pay a little bit more for it but it's so good Mm -hmm. So that's how I do it. Aria is still up here. I'm using low sodium soy sauce. I love soy sauce. So, so good. get a piece of this other dynamite roll I got the labels put up on my little stand here so I could read them and tell you what they were before I started eating on them there we go Crunchy cucumber. Put this ginger over here in the soy sauce stuff. This place, the grocery store that I get this sushi from, grocery store sushi is not like real sushi. Wasabi. Okay, I'm gonna get another. Another hunk of that. And none of them have fish row on them. Well, there's a few little pieces on this one, but it's like it wasn't supposed to be there. On the very tip of that chopstick. So if you have all those little orange balls that pop and gush in your mouth, these are like the teeniest ones. They're fish eggs. I love them. Very good. <coughs> oh, did you hear that one come up? <laughs> get some of the Philadelphia roll which I love cream cheese and sushi so good <clears throat> and seafood's probably a little bit cheaper where I'm at because I'm so close to the coast so if you live like out in the middle of the country like as far as living in the United States, it's going to be more expensive out where you're at just because they have to pay to have it come from the coast all the way into the middle of the country. So they have to drive it and fly it and all that kind of stuff. See, but for this whole entire thing of like 10 pieces, that's all the ginger they gave me. Like, that's not enough. That's not enough, people. I like how wasabi makes my nose clear out. Mm hmm. All right. Now, this one. The Super California Roll. I don't know what all is put on here. So it looks like shredded um, imitation crab meat. And then like, it almost looks like fried onions. Like the dried 
kind that you can get at the um, in the little containers. Let me see. All right, so rice crab stick. So the imitation crab meat is actually pollock, which is a type of white fish. Um, egg white, wheat starch, waxy, corn starch, sorbitol, MSG, <coughs> rice wine, sugar, crab extract, and then a bunch of other sodiums, disodiums, all that kind of stuff. See, this says it's supposed to have smelt fish roe, which is that those little teeny eggs. I don't see any on here. And it's got a spicy mayo thing on it. Like, there's so much on the top of it. Like, you can't even see the piece of sushi under it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we're going to end up losing it here. Now the sun's finally started to come back out and the rain's gone away, so my allergies have started to come back again because of all the pollen. So bad. Yeah, there's no smelt row on here. It's good, but it doesn't taste like sushi. Like, when I think sushi, I think raw fish. You're not actually eating sushi if you're eating everything that's cooked. And when people eat sushi in, like, other countries, this is more like sushi. Or just eating, like, the raw fish itself. Like, the rolls and stuff. I think that's more of, like, an American thing. Which is still good. I like it all. But I always think of sushi as being raw meat. See, and then some people say, oh, you shouldn't put ginger on top of it because that's supposed to be a palate cleanser. Like... You're actually supposed to take a little bite of ginger after each piece of sushi so you can cleanse your palate and like kind of reset it for the next bite so you can taste all the different flavors and stuff. But I just put it on there because I like it that way. Mm-hmm. They're big bites though. Yeah, so if you can't eat with chopsticks and you're discouraged about it, keep trying. Um, what you can do is actually if you have like these kind of chopsticks, the little wooden ones that you get at like takeout places, they come in the little paper wrapper. What you want to do is take the little paper wrapper and you want to roll it up into like a, a little ball. Here, I'll show you. So like pretend that this is the wrapper. So you're going to take it and you just want to like roll it almost like you'd roll a cigarette or something. So you'd roll it up like that. And then if it's thin, you can fold it in half to make it really tiny. And then you take your chopsticks and up at the top of them, you put this little, the little piece of paper in between the chopsticks like that. And you take a rubber band and you tie the rubber band around. And what that'll do is that will force the chopsticks to stay open as much as the paper will let them stay open. And then you can push down on the one side. Hey, come on back, guys. You guys are 
drunk on me again today. So you'll push down onto the rubber band and it'll close it. So you'll be able to practice with having that little bit of help. They also make um, training chopsticks too, which you might think is crazy and you might be like, um, oh, training chopsticks, those are for little kids. Yes, they're for little kids, but they help. And it's a pair of chopsticks that's all made out of plastic and it's just like a little loop up top here. So they'll always stay open and the little kids will, you know, grab them into their hand like this and you can just squeeze it and it'll close the little chopsticks and they'll spring back open. But they're good practice sticks. <sniffs> Sorry, allergies, I can't help it. I've just done so much like Chinese and stuff and sushi throughout my life. Like I learned how to eat with chopsticks whenever I was like six. And that's because we had this really, really good Chinese place where I used to live. And we were there like every single Friday night. They'd give us like all these different kinds of foods and stuff to try and it was like a family thing. <coughs> So we would go and I had to learn how to eat with the chopsticks because my parents were eating with them. And I was like, I feel bad. I'm not eating with the chopsticks like everybody else. And they're the ones that showed me how to do the little paper thing. So every time we'd come in, they'd have a pair of chopsticks made for me. And they liked us so much that... One time we went in and I asked them if they had milk. I wanted just regular plain milk. And they were like, oh, we don't, we don't have milk. Sorry. And I was like, okay, that's okay. I'll get a Shirley Temple, which is basically just like Sprite and grenadine. And I think that might be it. There might be like one or two other things, but. Shirley Temple's a virgin drink, so no alcohol in it. And the waiter was like, okay, I'll, I'll be right back. And he gets my parents their drink. I still remember they used to always get something called a flaming volcano. And it was a huge, huge thing. Like this big around. And it was like a bowl. And it had a little volcano on the inside of it. And they filled it up with this liquor punch stuff. And then they filled the little volcano cup in the middle with uh, 151 rum. And they set it on fire. And they'd bring it to our table. And my parents would drink that. And I always loved having the, the little bit of fire there. But anyways... Um, the manager lady comes over and she would talk to my parents. She was like, she wanted milk, right? And they were like, yeah, it's okay. We told him to go ahead and make a Shirley Temple. And she was like, no, 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 that's not right. That's not right. She wants milk. She's going to get milk. And my mom was like, well, they told us you guys don't have milk. She's like, no, we don't. But hold on a second. Took about 10 or 15 minutes. But the manager comes back. And she's got one of the little like plastic jug milk things. Milk jugs. And she was like, I'm so sorry it took so long, but I had to send my my waiter to the grocery store up the complex because where they were at it was kind of like a little strip mall thing so there was a grocery store at the other end of it she sent that poor waiter to the grocery store to buy me milk and bring it back to me and then they didn't even charge me for it like that's how much they liked us because we were there so much I grew up with that place called Beijing Gourmet.
and then they moved up to another location and they only stayed there for a couple years and then they owners and stuff just got too old that they didn't want to do it anymore and they tried to pass the restaurant on to their kids and they didn't want it so they ended up closing it it's so sad I grew up there though I loved that I had so many memories this one doesn't have as much sauce if you guys have been watching me for a while you've seen me eat this seaweed salad before and the last one I had was dripping sauce everywhere See, and then there's these like weird colors like that does not look like a natural color to me <laughs> still good though I like it anyway ah my goodness guys you guys are drinking today get your stuff together piece of this and I understand like that a lot of people can't afford sushi because they're on a budget I don't get sushi all the time and actually if I wasn't recording I probably wouldn't have gotten like sushi today so it can be a little bit expensive, you know, but it's one of those things that you can treat yourself with. And if you want to pay just a couple dollars more, you can get so much better quality at like a actual sushi house or a sushi bar. Like if you have Sakura, I don't know if that's just like around my area here. It's like a Japanese steakhouse. We actually have a Sakura and a place called Kobe. And they both have really good sushi bars. Ah. Alright, so there's still a few more of these pieces. Actually, like half of them. But this will not go to waste. Because my dad will eat it or Scott will eat it. Or I'll eat it for dinner. And just make the kids like hot dogs or something. Our, Ari is probably going to have to stay home tomorrow. I can send Logan back tomorrow. The doctor only gave him a note for one day but I kept him home today anyways because he woke up yesterday morning and it went from one eye into the other and I was like I just don't feel comfortable sending you to school and the lady in the front office was like thank you so much because parents be sending their kids to school with like really contagious illnesses and it's like do you understand how little kids they don't care about hygiene they don't care about washing their hands or, you know, ooh, some kids probably picked that up and put it in their mouth or rubbed their butt all over it and stuff like that. So they don't think about that kind of stuff. And then these illnesses just go all around. And then everybody in the whole class slowly starts dropping off like flies. And it's like, if your kids are sick, keep them home they have a rule you have to be 24 hours without fever or vomiting or 24 hours on antibiotics if it's something that needs antibiotics before you can come back to school so that was another bite of the Philly roll
I think Rice and Frony would like this. It's not raw. It's everything in that one's cooked. It's just crab meat. Like the eight imitation crab meat. Avocado and cream cheese. And wrapped with the seaweed and covered in rice. And then rolled in some sesame seeds. I'm slowly like putting it all onto one tray so I can take it downstairs and be like, here you go guys, these are my leftovers. <laughs> See, this is almost like too much on there. There's so much on the top that I can't even see where the sushi roll is to be able to break it out of there. Because they use like sticky rice. Right, so this will be the last bite of this because I've got something behind me that I want to eat because y'all know me. So, what do you guys want to see me eat? I've got more or more subs coming in or, you know, subscribers coming in every day. And I'm curious if you are new or even if you're not new, even if you've been here for a while, is there something in particular that you want me to eat or try or anything like that? I know Rice and Frony wants me to do that, like, flaming hot noodle challenge or whatever, but I don't know if my stomach can handle that. Like, I go through little bouts where my stomach just kind of hates me. And I'm going through one. So I can't eat, like, super spicy stuff. I have a video where I explained, like, what happened with my stomach and everything. I don't remember which video it was, though. It's a while back. A little bit of ginger. See, that's another thing with, like, grocery store brand sushi. If you were at a sit-down restaurant or, like, a real sushi house, this would never happen. You would never get a piece of ginger this big. They'd cut it up for you. Because you're not supposed to have like a gigantic bite of it. Because it'll start to burn. So they'd probably cut this piece into like three pieces. Because sushi is bite size. Alright, see this video is a half an hour already. Try to set that there. I'm sitting on the bed. Y'all know I'm sitting on the bed, so. Ugh, come here. Munch took one, but they were calling my name at the grocery store. I could not say no to some donuts. So these are just glazed donuts. It was five bucks for a dozen of them. Yeah, see this lipstick? It's getting like so dry. Like it's supposed to be matte, but it's getting dry to the point to where it's crumbling. Like rolling up into like little balls. And like falling off my face. I don't really care for it. I like the color, but, and I really, really like the other color that I have, that Copenhagen color. I know y'all are probably like, God, would you just hurry up and eat so we can be done with this video? 
you can fast forward the video. In the upper right hand corner, there's three little dots. Hit those little dots, go down to playback speed, and you can speed the video up. 1.25, one and a half times, and two times faster. So you guys can speed me up and have me squealing like a little mouse. And watch the whole video in 15 minutes. These are really fluffy. I like glazed donuts like this that are super airy. It's got a bunch of the wheat flour in it though, so we'll see if it makes my stomach hurt. Because of my gluten deal. And we'll see what happens with the kids tomorrow. Probably gonna have to keep Aria home again. Logan's getting better enough to where he can go back. Like, he doesn't have all the gunk coming out of his eyes anymore. But they're still, like, red and, like, swollen. It looks like he's been crying really bad. And school's out on, like, the 13th or the 14th. I know this video wasn't, like, as entertaining and... I wasn't talking about as much stuff. I've just been so tired of all the running around I've been doing the past couple days. I was smart today, though. I went to the school first. I was like, give me that piece of paper. Because I'm taking her to the doctor. I'll have them fill it out there. And I'll have them give me two bottles of the medicine. Which they gave me one and then they called in the other one. Of course, insurance was like, it's too early to fill. I'm like, okay, yeah, I just give it to me. I want to pay cash for it. It's like $14. She's coming back. Yes? Mommy. Huh? In a minute, I'm almost done. Almost 40 minutes. Try to lick my fingers though for you guys. <clears throat> See, and then having that frosting on here. I, I gotta wipe this off. I don't like it that much. Might be that I put it on too thick or something though. Cena Munch has made her way up here. There's two adults downstairs and she still made her way up here. Aria 